Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing something a little bit different when it comes to favourite videos. Basically, instead of doing a monthly favourite video, I'm going to be doing a summer favourite video. Um, I think I'm going to start doing videos by seasons when it comes to favourites, just because I really don't try that many new products in a month. In three months though, I tend to try a few things and I think it'll make for a better video and that way I only have to do four of these a year. I'm just going to get started in no particular order. Um, oh, by the way, you're probably wondering about my hair. Um, I did put a temporary colour in it, so apologies that it looks really gross in the moment. I'm trying not to wash it for a few days, so that's why it looks a bit yuck. <laughs> um, but it will wash out soon. I just wanted to colour up, I just wanted to cover up the bleached areas in my hair, so that's why. Yeah, so I'm not going to start in any particular order. The first one is one that just recently got released in Australia. It's the Fit Me Shine Free Gel Stick Foundation. I think I've said the entire title of that. Um, now I've got this in color 235, which is way too dark for me, but I actually use this for contouring. Probably can't see it very well. I only do very subtle contouring just because that's what I like to do really. But um, yeah, it makes a pretty a pretty good um, subtle contour. I haven't really tried much, I haven't really exper experimented much in the way of um, contouring with foundations or concealers. I've mainly just contoured with bronzers. It seems like there's this new trend going on that I believe Goss makeup artist started. Uh, he like originally encouraged people to you know give contouring with foundation a go so I just thought I'd jump on that bandwagon there, but I think I might experiment with concealers and possibly other foundations as well. I've bought a few NYX products. I might actually put all my NYX products together, the ones that are my favourites at least. Um, so I've got, like, I love the NYX matte lip creams. Um, this colour I did discover over the summer. But yeah, I just love these. Great colour payoff. I'll actually swatch that for you guys that bottom colour there, that really nice nudie pink colour. And they do amazing lip glosses as well. I've got um, Salsa and Beige here, um, off the recommendations of uh, Tanya Burr and Miss Glamorazzi. Love those two girls. Um, so that's Salsa. You can't really see it. That's more of like a top gloss, I guess. But I just had to get it because, you know, Tanya Burr likes it. <laughs> Oh, I'm so easily swayed. And there's beige there. You can't really see it because I only did one layer, but it's a really nice um, soft pink colour that just suits virtually any skin tone, I feel. Now, the two blushes I want to talk about. Um, I've got Pinch. Now, this one is available in Australia, and I've also got Pinky. As far as I know, well, at least the targets I've looked at, this one isn't available, which is a real shame because it is a gorgeous, it's very vibrant type of hot pink colour but you just need a very light sweep of it that just gives you just this really nice glow um, and I read somewhere that um, it's actually a very 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 good dupe apparently for um, NARS Desire blush now, I haven't actually tried that one I just like finding dupes for things anyway those are all the NYX, pro NYX products I have bought and tried over the summer I probably will be trying more Next is actually a hair care product. Now my hair's probably looking really dry at the moment because I haven't used this in a few days and really should. But it is the Organics Moroccan Argan Oil. I absolutely love this. You just get sort of like a, I, get may, I guess maybe a dime sized amount. Or I guess it depends on how long and how thick your hair is. But you really don't need that much. I apply it sort of midway down to the ends of my hair and oh, it just looks amazing. And yeah, I discovered this, um, I think, last month January yeah I have jumped on the Milani Luminoso bandwagon that's right now when I looked up swatches for this and also in YouTube videos this came across as a lot more pink than I thought um, but in actual fact oh wow and this light looks really orange um, but yeah it's very like an leans to more towards the orange side of peach like that's it there I don't know if you can see it um, don't get me wrong it's a beautiful color but with my fair skin um, and because my skin is like neutral like it's like my skin tones like halfway between neutral to cool toned um, so I can't pile on a color like this as opposed to someone who's darker than me they can probably apply this with, with a bit of a heavier hand and it'll look really nice on them 
This works on me, but I do need to apply it very, very lightly. And the other Milani blush I bought is Dolce Pink. This is gorgeous. This is one of the prettiest blushes I've ever seen. I can't believe everyone on YouTube isn't talking about this. Like, it, look at that. That is just beautiful. Oh, it's probably not going to come up on my skin very well in sliding, but... Oh, it is just stunning. Next, this is the Dior Rose Diamond Highlighter. Now, I got this recently. It was probably about four weeks ago it came in the mail, roughly. Now, this may be discontinued. I'm not 100% sure. All I know is it wasn't available. Well, at least I didn't see it at the um, Dior Cosmetics counter at my. The other reason why I think it's discontinued is because I had to pay a pretty penny for this to get it off eBay. And also because I wanted to make sure it was authentic and that the person was going to take extra care in sending it. This is going to be like my rainy day highlighter. Next, I'm going to be talking about the Baby Lips by Maybelline Lip Balms. Now these are awesome. These ones in particular you can't get in Australia yet. I'm not sure if they will release this collection in Australia, but I was dying to try them after I saw these two um, used by Tanya, Tanya Burr and also some other people as well. And then these ones, I just thought they were cool because they were like the vivid or like the neon type ones and I thought I'd give them a go. But I was hooked on these the second I tried one of the original ones. Basically it was in the pale blue and pink packaging, if that helps. It was one of the first ones that came out. Um, I can't for the life of me find it anywhere. Um, but yeah, I just absolutely loved it. I just loved the way it felt on my lips and one of the best lip balms I've ever tried. Like, honestly, I get a bit funny about trying lip balms from makeup brands. Like, for example, Nivea. I used to, when I was using a lip balm, it would either be Nivea or Blistec. They specify in, in skincare, if that makes sense, whereas uh, Maybelline is more cosmetics. But I was blown away by these. Like, these are fantastic. They're just the, one of the best things I put on my lips, basically. Keeping on with the lip trend, um, I guess it was, yeah, I guess summer was the first time I really tried MAC lipsticks. Um, which Because I was really... I was sort of a bit standoffish about trying them because they're so expensive here in Australia. Um, $36 at the Mac store, they are, um, whereas I think they're 15 in the US. So a lot of these, all except two, I bought, I paid the full price at the Mac store in, um, in Australia. The rest I bought from either eBay or, or Cosmetics Wholesale. Um, anyway, this is one I bought from eBay. This is Show Orchid. I love this color. But isn't that just the most beautiful, vivid pink you've ever seen in your life? It's words just can't describe it. Um, it's got this. It's got like a neutral pink undertone. Then it's got like almost a, an, an iridescent purple, almost metallic look about it over the top. Yet it's not a frost. I don't know how they did it. The next is, is of course, the famous Angel by MAC. I just watched that as well. That is a gorgeous nude colour. Um, a few weeks ago I had a job interview and, um, and, I, and I was wearing that lip colour because I was just trying to keep my makeup really nice and natural and professional. Next, now I did buy a YSL Rouge Volupt. Um, if any of you watch my All Cosmetics Wholesale haul, you would have seen this bad boy. This is gorgeous. I just absolutely love it. Look, that is one swipe, and look at that color payoff. I want to use this so much, but, and to be honest, this didn't cost me all that much. On the All Cosmetics Wholesale website, it was only $25, which is pretty darn good considering these retail in Australia for $55 each. Um, so that's part of the reason why I don't really want to use it up because I know how much this is and it just frustrates me because it's so expensive and I love it so much but I don't want to use you I don't want to use you YSL Rouge Volupt because you know if I use you all up I'll have to buy you again at $55 and that is almost too much in my books to pay for a lipstick even if it is as gorgeous as this and I want to cry just thinking about it but thankfully out of the colors that are currently available in Australia, this is my favourite. 
like thankfully because this was the only color available on the all cosmetics wholesale website they actually don't have any of these anymore it's sold out i must have got one of the last few because a week later after i got this shipment and i jumped back on the website these were all gone so i don't know i feel very lucky about that next are three more things that i discovered now these are all eye products um now we've got the famous Steeler Kitten here. i would wanted to try this for the longest time because everyone has raved about it. It's like you look up the word buttery in the beauty encyclopedia. The, a picture of this will come up. It's just amazing. Like you can see why it's Steeler's most famous colour and why they've made a smudge pot lip gloss and highlighter named after it. It is just gorgeous. Next. Now I've been, it, now I'm probably like the last person to jump on the Maybelline Falsies bandwagon, but here it is. This is the Falsies Flared. They, there are so many versions of the Falsies now that I almost don't know where to begin. Um, I definitely, definitely will be trying the original Falsies after this one though. This one has um, done me very well though. This one has a slight scoop to it. And finally, I have the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Eyeliner in Nude. Now this is probably just going to blend straight into my skin, but basically it's a nude eyeliner. It works really well on the waterline if you are trying a less dramatic look. I used to love just using a white eyeliner in my waterline, but then I realized that that really isn't suitable for a great deal of looks. I found it looks really good if you're using either a silver, grey, black or even blue or even green. Um, eyeshadow colors sort of yeah I guess basically the colors that lean more on the cool side look quite nice with a white eye pencil in the waterline and if you're using warmer tones if you're using like taupes and browns um, and golds as well I think a, a nude eye pencil complements them a lot better but that's just me and yeah so these are my summer favorites um, if you all enjoyed this video and yeah I'll be talking to you all again really soon Bye.